So we're standing here on the railroad grade. We are just to the west of Iron Range Lake. And you can see the grade going this direction to the east. So in this area here, we are about to enter a small little rock cut and then a fairly large embankment. This area also, somewhere in this vicinity, was the station at Addy Lake. We know they're several miles from Addy Lake. There was apparently a water tank in this area, but I have been able to find traces of the tank. You can see here that in some spots you can actually make out indentations where the ties would have been located. One there, and there's one there. You can see the sides of the rock cut here. So now we're just slightly to the west of the last little rock cut that we just went through. See the grade going to the east behind us. And here we have a fairly large embankment, which is very typical in this area. The area on either side of the embankment is fairly dry. And I would imagine at one time it was probably very wet. Here you can see the height. We're probably about... 10 to 12 feet, maybe a little bit more above this little hollow that the rock cut forms. You can also see it on the north side of the grade as well. And then the grade continues on its way to the west. So we're here once again. We are just west of the embankment that we are just west of Iron Range Lake. And here's the grade stretching to the east in front of us. And so what we're doing is we're going to be entering this small little rock cut. It's not particularly large, but it's a very... Uh, very pretty area to walk through. You can see the height of the rock cut is probably about five feet or so. Not particularly large. Let's get a little bit taller here, maybe in the eight foot range or so. And then what ends up happening here, like it so often does, we start getting into a rock, um, an embankment on the northern side of the grade.
We're here once again. We are just west of Iron Range Lake, and we're going to be entering a little embankment here. You can actually see the level of the grade has dropped somewhat due to the subsiding of the embankment. You can see it's not particularly tall. You can see this embankment is probably about 8 to 10 feet tall. Much higher on the northern side. begins to open up here once again and gets very high again you can probably hear that the bugs are out in full force today very difficult to see but on the north side of the grade here we're probably about at least 15 feet above the surrounding ground and the grade continues this way to the west So I'm standing here on the railway grade just west of Iron Range Lake and you can see I'm standing here in this very wet sort of low-lying area and this sort of illustrates to you a little bit about some of the challenges the railway builders had while they were constructing the railway. When I was here three years ago it was a little drier and you could walk through here. I have decided to forego dry feet and just like the old days when I first started doing this I am going to trudge through and get my feet wet. Now part of the reason why this area is so flooded is because of the beaver dam that you can see up ahead. That beaver dam was not here three years ago. And so, it was a tad bit drier. And this is the point in which I am now wet, and so I will shut off the camera. So we're here, we're just slightly to the west of the large swamp that we just passed through. And you can see the railway grade stretching to the east this way. Uh, we've just passed through a small little cutting which leads into a, not a very long, but certainly a tall rock cut here. And you can see the continuation of the cutting here. And then we get into the rock cut right here. This is probably one of the tallest rock cuts east of North Lake or Addy Lake. And so you can see the height of the rock cut here. I would estimate that it's probably somewhere in the neighborhood of at least 15 to 20 feet if not more.
and then this rock hut now flows into a an embankment which is fairly steep nothing too substantial on the south side but you can see the height on the north side and here you can see some of the rock that would have been taken out of the rock cut placed in here to form the embankment so we're probably at least 15 feet or so above the level of this little depression that we're in you can see somewhat that the ground has subsided the embankment has subsided you see there's a bit of a dip here in the grade still see we're very very high up above the surrounding ground and then you can see how the grade resumes its intended height right over there so we're standing here we are just west of the embankment we just walked through and we're entering yet another small little rock cut cutting it's more like a cutting it wasn't so much rock just a little bit This spot sort of gives you an idea of how sort of pretty the country that the railway would have gone through was. You could imagine the train sort of winding through here on its way to Addy Lake and then North Lake.